Well, hello and welcome to Positivity Now, the show that focuses on all things positive. I'm your host, Jonas Kane. One of the most common questions I get asked all the time is they say, Jonas, how do you stay positive when there's so much to be negative about? What I'm hearing from people is that uh, it, everyone has a reason to suffer, but I would argue that we don't have to. So that's what positivity, in my opinion, is all about. So today we're going to be starting an eight episode series on the eight steps that I've identified for thinking, being, and staying positive. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, I am so excited about sharing these eight positivity principles and practices with you folks. The eight steps, uh, it's what I call positive. Positive is an acronym for the eight steps that I've identified for thinking, being, and staying positive. Today, we're gonna start with step number one for, le for the letter P, which is plan, play, and pursue. Plan like you're gonna live forever. Play like you're gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> and then pursue each day for the wonders that they hold. Which is why uh, I brought this little game with me. And this is a game. This is a way that we can, we can play a little bit. This is a, it's a card game. Uh, perhaps you've seen one of these. They, they haven't made these in a while, but you just take a card from a deck of cards. And then the idea is whatever the card is, in this case, it's the eight of hearts. You have to arrange these uh, it's kind of like a like a, a rubik's cube but they're but they're rubik's dice or cubes and the idea is you have to arrange these squares to be the shape of or the image of of the playing card and using these dice you can make any playing card now the challenge of course is to make them in however many seconds that we've rolled. In this case, we have a five and a four. That's a nine, nine plus three is 12. So I have 12 seconds to make an eight of hearts out of these cubes. Now, thankfully, I've planned ahead and I learned magic, <laughs> which makes this whole thing much easier. So how do we do this? How do we do something as perhaps unexplainable as, as this? Well, the, the, it's quite simple. We're going to plan, we're going to play, and we're going to pursue. We often live under the false assumption that there's going to be a next time. We often say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, or oh, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next month. Now, there's no guarantee that someday is ever going to happen. So if we delay our happiness until we get that, that new job, or if we de or de delay our happiness until we find the partner of our dreams, or if we delay our happiness until our body is just right, or if we delay our happiness until we have kids or a car or, or whatever, we might be delaying so much that we're never going to allow ourselves to be happy, which is the power of this, of this first step, which is why it is number one, plan, play, and pursue. Now, there is a danger, of course, if, <laughs> if all we do is play all day, what's going to happen 10 years from now? We didn't plan anything. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen then? We would, oh, oh, shoot, I'm still alive. Now what, I'm, what, what am I going to do? Which is why we have that third part, is, is to pursue. Uh, just because we're playing all day, that doesn't mean that we can't as well plan as we go. There's this theory, it's called the four-burner theory. And this four-burner theory is what I believe ties this whole step together. The idea is if you imagine a stovetop with four burners, and each burner represents a different part of your life. So let's say one burner is family, another burner is friends, this other one is career, another one is health. These are the four major burners in our life. Of course, there's many sub burners you can divide these up until, but really, on the whole, those four major areas of our life. Experts say, 
whoever those experts are <laughs> and whatever they know, but experts would suggest that to be successful in life, you have to whoosh, turn off one of those burners ignore it completely as if it doesn't exist so that you can allocate your time to the other burners. There's only so many hours in the day, they would argue. But then they would say, in order to really, really be successful, you have to turn off another one of those burners. Now, I'm, I'm no social scientist, <laughs> but I would suggest that if you had to choose between those four areas of your life and to just eliminate half of them, I don't know anyone who could truly and sincerely be happy by doing that, which is why I offer the positivity magic <laughs> version of this plan. And it's quite simple. We think of, of our life as, as seasons. Now, seasons don't literally have to be summer, fall, winter, spring. A season could be a week. A season could be a month. Heck, a, a season could be five years. We decide what that season is going to be. And for that season, here, here's what we do. We choose one of those burners that we focus the, the lion's share of our effort on. It could be, it could be anyway. It, it could be family. It could be friends. It could be work. It could be uh, health. Whatever it is, you focus time on that for that season. But here's the thing, so that you don't get burnt out, to keep with the theme of burners, to keep from getting burnt out, you're gonna wanna take some time off, right? You're gonna wanna take some time off. So it's, it's when you take some time off, that's when you schedule breaks to tend to the other burners. But you don't just do that every now and again. You actually schedule time, like it's a task, every day to tend to those other burners. This will prevent us from not only getting burnt out, but it's also going to prevent the other burners from getting too cool. Because there's a danger, is that if we ignore the other burners for too long, they go cold and we might lose family, we might lose friends, we might lose our job, or Worst case scenario, we're going to lose our life because we ignored our health for, for too long, which brings up the other key point to this approach to the four burner theory. Yes, we, we choose the, the, the primary burner for that season, but before we even do that, we also have to choose what I call the non-negotiable burner. This is the burner that regardless of whatever else is going on in your life, no matter if it's that season or any other season, this is the burner that whew, you have to tend to every day. You have to take care of. And, and the reason we do this is, again, if we spend too much time on other things, burners are going to get cold. I would argue that, uh, and this is my personal opinion, the most important burner of the four, and, and, and people could uh, suggest arguments for why other burners should be more important, but I think the most important burner is health. Because if you think about it, <laughs> if you don't have your health, if you're not alive, you're not going to be able to take care of anything else. It's like that you know, anytime you've been on, on a plane ride, they say if cabin pressure, you know, you get the oxygen mask, put your own, your own on first, take care of yourself first. Because if you don't take care of yourself, nothing else in life is going to be taken care of. So that's it. Uh, that's plan, play, and pursue. Make sure that you uh, take time every day to enjoy yourself. Uh, make sure that you take time to make plans, tend to your burners, and of course, uh, pursue each day for the wonders that they hold. I hope you've enjoyed that step. Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Positivity Now. If you'd like more information or if you have any questions, please visit our website, positivitymagic.com. Until then, my name is Jonas Kane. Stay positive.